Good afternoon, everyone. This is your fast cast for a Tuesday afternoon. Here are a couple of the top stories we are tracking for you today. The victim of a deadly shooting over the weekend on 4th Avenue has been identified by police. APD saying it happened in front of the Gaslight Lounge. The police department says the shooting left 30 year old uh, Tajay Baldwin dead and another man with life threatening injuries. Uh, bullets from the shooting hit windows across the street at APD headquarters. Now, after a review of surveillance camera video, the owner of the bar said it appears a fight between two women led to a fight between two men, and that led to the deadly shooting. As of last check, police said no charges have been uh, filed regarding the homicide, and there are currently no outstanding suspects, no arrests have been made. Anyone with information is asked to call police dispatch at 311. And a warning now, the video on this next story coming up may be disturbing to some of our viewers. An officer involved shooting investigation this time in Juneau, where a man was shot and killed by police Monday after they say he refused to drop a knife and lunge toward officers. Cell phone video captured by a bystander shows the moments leading up to the shooting. According to state troopers, the confrontation between police and 35-year-old Stephen Kissack happened just after 1 p.m. yesterday near the 200 block of Front Street in Juneau. Police were following up on an assault case when a police officer made contact with Kissack. The Juno officers called for assistance and were joined by a wildlife trooper. Now, according to AST, officers negotiated with the man for several minutes trying to get him to drop the knife, even using less lethal beanbag style rounds to encourage him to comply. The police officers and trooper who fired their weapons have been placed on leave. The Alaska Bureau of Investigation uh, will be looking into the shooting and doing a review. Looks like we're in store for some more rain this afternoon and probably for the next couple of days, but it looks like a nice weekend coming up. We'll have all your forecasts coming up at 4 and 5 this evening. And don't forget our uh, coverage of the Republican National Convention that's coming up later here on Alaska's News Source.